Hello ladies, how you doing? Um, so, finally made it home. I'm exhausted. I have a headache. Um, I have a lot of mixed emotions. I'm okay though, I'm okay. I'm gonna be okay. But I do have a lot of mixed emotions. I don't wanna cry. I've cried enough. Um, on my way to the doctor's office, a song came on. That song gave me so much hope. And it still gives me hope because it's so true. God is doing a new thing and I'm ready for an overflow. Um, it just made me question some things. I'm not going to say I'm giving up, but I know my husband and I know his personality. My husband's the type of person that doesn't like to show emotions. He don't like to feel let down or he don't like to be let down. Um, men deal with um, situations way different than women do. Me and my spirit says I'm a fighter. I go, I shoot for what I want. I go for it. I don't give up until I have what I want. That's just my mindset as a person. But some men are just different, and I know it's so it's so fresh because when I call my husband on my way home, let him let him know that I was on my way home from the doctor's office. He was like, okay, and I said, well, I, I scheduled um, an appointment to have a procedure done. He's like, oh, okay, okay, okay. So, all right, I see you when you get here. And then I, I knew he didn't know what that meant. So, me saying that, let me go over um, how my vis my doctor's appointment went. They're running late, and I wasn't the last one in the office, but they're running pretty late. So, um, after the ultrasound, I went over. At the end of the ultrasound, I already knew because. In the TTC community, it's like you do so much research and you follow so many journeys. I use Dr. Google for so many different, we use Dr. Google for so many different things. So during the ultrasound, I, when the tech put it on the, um, there's a part on there where it shows color. And um, when he put it on there, I asked, cause I asked a lot of questions. I was like, does that show blood flow? Is that what you're checking? He said, yeah, that's, that, that's how we check blood flow. So I'm looking at the screen, the monitor. And at that time, I don't know if I stopped recording by then or not. I don't remember if I had already started, stopped recording or not. But I know I was looking for that flicker that we saw on the 22nd. And I knew I didn't see this flicker. But he was doing different angles. And I can see, you can see in my uterus where I have blood flow my blood flow but where pumpkin is I didn't see any color changes it was just the color which is the gray and white gray and white black and white however you want to say it so when I asked him was that blood flow I saw okay I don't see any blood flowing through pumpkin so that mean pumpkin it's a good chance pumpkin pumpkin isn't pumping anymore um, so I stopped recording um, sometime doing it and I finished up, changed, put my clothes back on and um, went and sat and wait. And then the tears started to fall as I wait, waited. I don't think the doctor didn't come in. I waited well over an hour, probably an hour and a half before she came in and I just listened to my music softly in the room, just asking God, you know, thanking God still for I didn't ask any questions because there's a reason for everything but I did um, I said that I would give God praise no matter what happened with this pregnancy what happened with pumpkin even though I'm going through I'm still gonna give God praise and thanks because I have to. I have to. The way I was raised and what I believe in. When you go through, praise God. When you give God praise and glory. 
even when you're going through and I've always said yes I praise him while I'm going through so yes I sang hallelujah while I was in there I said thank you Jesus and I still say thank you Jesus now because I'm still here I'm still healthy I still have my four girls I'm not going to give up so hubby and I have some talking to do and I got home I had to stop him and say hey that's not what I want to hear right now and he looked he was like okay I got you I'm just gonna leave you alone because what he was saying is I understood and I understand why he was saying the things he was saying but at the same time that's not what I need to hear right now I need a hug I need to let this soak in it's not like it's almost like when someone or a friend or someone you know lose a child or a parent and someone comes to them and says God knows best and yes we know God knows best but at that time I'm almost quite sure that's not what the individual want to hear they want to hear I'm praying for you I'm here for you if you need anything let me know that's what I need so I thank all of you women for your kind thoughts prayers encouragement positivity I'm still gonna be positive and that's who I am. I'm a positive person. I'll, I'm optimistic. I always want to look to see what's going to look at the good side of everything. I look at the glass. I say it's half full, not half empty. <clears throat> but I'm thinking. I don't know. I don't want to make any decisions now. But I did make the decision to go ahead and schedule for after the doctor came and talked to me. I went ahead and told her I want to schedule um, the DNC because I had an option three options I could took a pill to make to make myself start to bleed in that process or I could have let it go natural but the cramping that I've been having I don't want to just keep cramping for how many days I don't know mentally going back to work and knowing that I'm carrying pumpkin in me, waiting for it to happen naturally, that was going to just prolong the process for me. So, I agreed to schedule for a DNC for Thursday. So, I'm going to try to upload this before Thursday. So, if you're watching this before or after, keep me and my family in your prayers. Um, I'll be praying for you guys as well. For all my TTC sisters and families out there, I'll be praying for you as well. Um, I'm going to make it through it. I'm going to make it through it. Um, I'm thinking about maybe birth control for a month or two. Just, I see now that I'm fertile. We just got to figure out what's causing me to miscarry. Um, so, I plan on seeing a specialist because I'm considered high risk now since I've had two miscarriages back to back. And then... April I'll be 35 so that'll put me I think at the age where I have to go see a high risk specialist anyways and have special testing and all that thing but I don't want to make this video too long but I did want to let you ladies know what's going on what steps I'm taking also my results my blood work did show that my numbers increased In less than 24 hours my numbers went up from 8400 to 11,000 so that doesn't make sense as well pumpkin isn't growing still measuring six weeks three days but my levels go, are going up so that made me think that this process would take even longer and longer to go through so that's all I'm going to say for now good night and God bless you all I love you thank you for your prayers all the new subscribers thank you for subscribing I appreciate you bottom of my heart so this weekend hopefully kiki and i will make slime as i promised her we bought the supplies so that video will be included with us going to buy the supplies but for the most part thank you i appreciate you have a blessed night blessed day whatever it is bye